there are two things on in my mind and uh, one is uh, Benghazi and then the other the other thing on my mind is a, a, a disturbing video that I watched yesterday and it uh, it shows what is um, a, it is a glimpse inside of the abortion industry I don't know which is what is more disturbing which way to go huh? which way to go first yeah. right as as far as Benghazi okay um happy hunting because this was a very long years ago I did um I used uh, my my source, uh, one of the my most uh, re reliable sources. Okay, for information that you're not going to get in the news, and it is somewhere. Like I said, happy hunting. I couldn't even tell you where it is. It was a number of years ago that I came across the information from the source of Prophet Kim Clement. Uh, specifically on Benghazi and um, he described the scene that happened in the Benghazi and he used the word sodomize okay and he used some other adjectives that are also disturbing and all these adjectives are in reference to the way that our American um, ambassadors were um, treated so you can you know I'm absolutely certain that I can recall because that sort you know that was a shock way for me and it stood out in my mind but it was I don't even know if these rec you know what records are still available it's a whole other system that runs that uh, the ministry that he used to run so I, I I don't I don't even know where if it's even possible to get that information. What he said on Pink Gossy. All right, but um. Okay, I, I he very reliable source that I've uh, depended on for years. The absolute most reliable source of his time, meaning during his uh, lifetime. There's, uh, there's no other uh, source more reliable than him, okay, in terms of not, uh, knowing the, in the unknown realm, knowing things that are not, not yet in the, in the newspapers, okay. okay. I do, I do, uh, and I do uh, crash heads sometimes, uh, with uh, his thoughts, but really that is just a very small percentage of the time. Okay, usually uh, when he has something to say about Russia, and that is just because I'm still waiting for him to have something nice to say about the, my uh, President Putin. Whereas I always have something nice to say about President Putin. So we have a different, different line of thought on uh, Russia. Okay, okay, but the, uh, yeah, okay, overall he, he is the most reliable, meaning you're not going to get a better source than him. We just happen to have had the crash on, uh, on Russia. Mm? So, um, and the prophet uh, Kim Clement uh, uses this, this term. Is sodomized, sodomized, and it is somewhere buried under the records. Like I said, I do not even know if you can access this information anymore. 
it, I don't even know who's running the ministry anymore. Okay? And if these, uh, his ancient, or these ancient prophecies are even still available. But, uh, a prophet Kim Clement did, uh, they described the Benghazi scene, and he did use the term sodomized in terms of how the our American ambassadors were so grossly mistreated. And uh, my perception is he's 100% right on this note. That is what happened. The thought never came to me until I analyzed uh, what his description was. Neither he nor I, we were, neither of us were there at the scene to see it. But when I read his description, what what I perceive is, yeah. So he has knowledge on that, and uh, and uh, and uh, very disturbing, very disturbing from what I remember. How did the, the description of it, the scene in Benghazi? Okay. <clears throat> Then uh, after reading his uh, description, and uh, this, uh, this was many, many years ago that I came across it. I don't even know if it's available on the web anymore. And uh, after reading his uh, description on uh, the scene, the ugly scene in Benghazi, I uh, began to uh, question why did these terrible things happen. Okay. And if it is thought it's an unsettled case, it is not a closed case. Okay, but I do know that the horrors that happened to our American ambassadors in, ben in Benghazi could happen to any uh, American uh, soldier put in the wrong place and with the wrong flag. Okay, and I'm just saying that because uh you never want to go through what they went through those horrors and uh, this is why it is very important if you are on an american base that no satanic leech ever plays a sick joke on you to toss you into the the jaw of our enemies by putting the satanic queer nation flag on an American base because then what will happen is under international law very bad things can happen to American soldiers if ever the satanic queer nation flag lands on an American base. So just for the protection of our American soldiers it's very important that does not happen. Okay. Okay, um, and uh, I need to take a breath. I also was going to cover this disturbing uh, video that I saw on the inside of the uh, uh, abortion industry, but one thing, one thing at a time. <clears throat>